This question comes from the B2 module in biology and is about whether the influenza vaccine should be compulsory. It's a six mark question, so the answer is levelled based on which category it best fits, rather than receiving one mark for each point made. For level one, which is one or two marks, uh, my first sentence would be sufficient. This would be an unbalanced argument with only advantages. It says, introducing compulsory influenza vaccination for everyone in a country may be a good idea, as it will reduce the number of people catching influenza and may help to eradicate it. I've made several points, but they are only advantages. I have not included any disadvantages. For a level two answer, which would be three or four marks, my next two sentences would be needed. These say, it would also reduce the cost of the NHS for treating people. It may also be a bad idea, as vaccinating everyone every year would be very expensive. Here I've included, included several advantages, but also a disadvantage. And I could have done it the other way around and had several disadvantages, but one advantage. But it's a bit more balanced than my last argument. For a level three answer, which would be five or six marks, I'd need to include this last sentence. This says, it also removes people's right to refuse a vaccine if it is not what they want or goes against their religious views. This way, I have included several advantages and several disadvantages. I've also included ethical issues in this last point here about religious views. And this is commonly a theme for six mark questions that to receive five or six marks, you need to include an ethical issue. In addition, the quality of written communication is being assessed in my answer. And so if I had included all these points but had very poor spelling, punctuation or grammar, I may have been put behind into the three or four mark category due to having poor quality of written communication. Made with DoodleCast Pro.